Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to create a topographic contour model. So each layer represents the height of, let's say, a height field or a landscape model. In a new document, I will create a geometry container with a height field inside. And to get some elevation, I will use a height field noise. I increase the amplitude and the element scale and reduce the number of octaves to get a smoother model. Now in order to slice it, I first want to define the height of each slice. We are going to match the height of a vertical line to the height field by setting the scale to fit of a match size node to Y and resample afterwards. So in my case, each layer should have a thickness of 10. And I will also use a enumerate node to give each point an index number for later use. So now when I copy a grid of the same size as my height field, in my case 1000 by 1000, with a resolution of 101 by 101, I can copy this grid to each point. And you should see here that we still have index numbers for each layer. You can also just take a crop. So you could say 500 by 500. So you would just have the middle part of your model. Now in order to cut each layer, I will use a point warp node and connect its second input to the height field. What I want to calculate here is the difference called delta between my grid points and the height model. So let's dive inside. And based on the point position, I want to take a volume sample to the primitive name called height which is my height field on the second input it's coming in. And I want to subtract from this value the vertical position of my position vector. So there's a function or a node called get vector component, which I set to the second input, uh, second component and connect it to the second input of my subtract node. Let's bind export this subtraction as delta and use this new attribute called delta in my clip node as a clip attribute. So what you should see are the contour lines and we can now filter each layer using a divide node by removing shared edges. There are also some extra points on straight edges, we can get rid of after using the whole node uh, to also catch these islands. We can now use the facet node to clean up those inline points by setting the distance to 0.1, I'd say. You should now have a model that reacts pretty fast to changes. Let's play with the noise. Let's offset the pattern and it should update within a second or so. To add some thickness to each layer, we can use the distance from the resample node. So let's copy that parameter from length and paste it as distance. Let's close the backside. And just to prove we're still able to keep track of each layer, we're going to remap the attribute called index inside a attribute adjust color node. Now instead of hitting compute range each time, we can use the n unique vals expression, refer to the point class, and call the attribute index and subtract one for correctness. So now when we change the height of the model, let's say the amplitude is 2000, then it should update. Thank you for watching.